Hey there, Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope. Are you ready to take my job as a seasoned backyard astrophotographer? Yes, 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 of course. Well, let's just see about that. Smart telescopes like the Dwarf 3 are really popular right now. For about $500, they make astrophotography accessible without the need for expensive gear or getting into a steep learning curve. Just switch on the device, use the app to control the smart telescope and start taking awesome pictures of the night sky. It's like buying a smartphone or tablet with everything ready to go. I'm going to use a setup that is slightly more expensive than the $500 I spend on you. Is that okay? That's totally cheating, dude. All right, let's rock and roll. Seasoned astrophotographers like me take pride in building our own setups. We carefully choose our telescope, camera, tracking mount and gadgets like the ASI Air Plus or a mini PC to control our astro setups. It's like building a custom personal computer versus buying an off-the-shelf laptop or tablet. But understanding the individual parts and putting everything together takes time, effort and in my case about $5,000. So in this video, let's have some fun and compare the affordable Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope with my dedicated astrophotography setup by photographing the same objects in space. Let's start with imaging the sun. Let me put your solar glasses on and good luck. Capturing the sun with the Dwarf 3 is pretty straightforward. Start by placing the magnetic solar filters over both lenses, level your tripod and aim it toward the sun. Turn on the Dwarf 3, open the Dwarf Lab app on your Android or iOS smart device and connect to the telescope over Wi-Fi. In the app, select the photo mode and use the joystick controls to align the sun in the telephoto lens with the help of the wide angle view. Once it's centered, switch to the telephoto view and tap autofocus. The Dwarf 3 will then fine-tune the focus and adjust the exposure, revealing any visible sunspots that day. To learn more, check out my full Dwarf 3 review and tutorial linked in the video description below. Next, you should enable Sun Track from the app's features menu so the Dwarf 3 will start tracking the sun automatically for you. You can pinch your smartphone screen which allows you to zoom into the sun and use the auto and manual plus and minus focus buttons to get the best possible focus on the sunspots. For the best results, go into the settings menu after selecting Astro Mode where you can choose how many images you want to stack. I selected about 300 fits images and live stacking with AI enhancement enabled, which reduces noise and improves your photo quality. Tap record and you'll see a live stack image in the app along with information about the number of captured and stacked photos. The Dwarf 3 will automatically save a stacked image into its photo album once you end the session. Here's that automatically stacked picture the Dwarf 3 produces. Moving on, I opened the ASI Air app on my smartphone to control my astrophotography rig. Once connected to the ASI Air Plus, I verified that all my equipment was detected and pressed enter. As the telescope was roughly aligned with the North Celestial Pole, I opened up the Virtual Sky Atlas and searched for the Sun. When tapping the Go To function, the app reminded me of the need for solar protection. After attaching my Bader 80mm solar filter to the telescope, I reactivated the go-to function and the mount slewed to the sun. Switching to video mode, I used the slew buttons on the ASI Air app to center the sun in the field of view. After the sun was centered, I set the exposure to 6 milliseconds at zero gain, which brought out the sunspots. I focused on the largest sunspot group using the telescope's manual focuser. Although the natural color of the sun is white, I adjusted the color balance to match the yellowish glow I also got when capturing the sun in Aspro mode with the Dwarf 3. Please note that the ASI Air Plus isn't optimized for solar imaging, as its video capturing mode is limited to 1080p videos with a low frame rate per second. Moreover, I used my ASI 2600MC Pro Deep Sky Camera, which is not really suited to capture solar system objects. 
Nevertheless, I captured three two-minute videos in a VI format to capture the sun in video mode. After that, I downloaded, stacked, stitched and processed the sun and I achieved this final image. All right, all right, I must admit for only $500, those pictures of the sun look pretty decent. But are you also ready for some deep sky astrophotography? I'm great at photographing deep sky objects. All right, so let's wait until nightfall to image our neighboring Andromeda galaxy and the Pleiades. Let's start with the Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope and its standout EQ mode. This mode is optional and enables polar alignment, which is a critical step in astrophotography. By aligning the Dwarf 3 with Earth's axis, it can track stars more precisely, preventing star trails and field rotation issues in long exposure photos. The polar alignment process here is a bit different from other polar alignment procedures I've used in the past. Instead of pointing north, the Dwarf 3 is aimed south. You'll need to adjust the tripod's angle to match your latitude using the directions shown in the Dwarf Lab app. For example, here in the Netherlands, I had to set it to 52 degrees. Once aligned, the Dwarf 3 can track deep sky objects with exposure times of up to 60 seconds. After the alignment procedure was done, I hit calibration, which automatically fine tunes the telescope's positioning in the night sky for accurate tracking. With calibration complete, you can use the Virtual Sky Atlas to select deep sky objects like the Andromeda Galaxy. One simple click on the photo icon and the telescope slews automatically to the selected object. For more info, check out my review and tutorial videos about the Dwarf 3 in the video description below. Once the galaxy was in view, I set the shutter time to 30 seconds and stacked around 300 photos, resulting in a total exposure time of two and a half hours. Here's that stacked image automatically produced by the Dwarf 3. And here's my image after I downloaded, stacked and processed the individual FITS files myself. Not bad at all for a $500 telescope if you ask me. Now, let's compare it to my $5,000 Astro Rig. I opened the ASI Air app on my smartphone and checked if all my devices, including my camera, my mount and my guide scope, were recognized on the main screen. Then, I pressed enter to begin. I started by checking the focus of my telescope using the ASI Air's focus mode, which allows me to zoom in on the star and fine-tune the focus. Once the focus was set, I moved on to polar alignment. The ASI Air app calculates the telescope's position and rotates the mount by 60 degrees to take a second image. The app then shows how close I am to the North Celestial Pole. By adjusting the altitude and azimuth bolts of the mount, I fine-tuned the telescope's position until I was within one degree of the North Celestial Pole. Once aligned, I selected my target, the Andromeda Galaxy, from the Virtual Sky Atlas. After tapping Go To, the mount automatically slew to the object. I rotated the camera position to get the composition I like best. I also set up auto-guiding with the ASI Air, ensuring precise tracking for long exposure photos. For the Andromeda Galaxy, I decided to take 123-minute exposures with my 2600MC Pro color camera and 35 5-minute photos with the Hydrogen Alpha filter to capture the emission nebulae in the galaxy. For more information on my astrophotography rig, including tutorials and reviews on how I use the ASI Air Plus, check out the video description below. Here's my final image after stacking and processing the individual photos using PixInside.
After that, I pointed the Dwarf Tree at M45, the Pleiades, which is a famous bright cluster of blue giant stars visible to the naked eye. I captured about 150 frames using a shutter time of 30 seconds with the Astro filter. Here's that stacked version automatically produced by the Dwarf 3. And here's my stacked and processed picture after downloading the individual FITS files. Of course, I also took 87 3 minute exposures of M45 with my expensive astrophotography rig without using any filter. Here's the final result after stacking and processing the single images using PixInsight. Let me give you my final thoughts here. At about $500 or euros, the Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope is an affordable, all-in-one, lightweight device ideal for beginning astrophotographers and casual stargazers. While it has a small learning curve to master, it's pretty straightforward and pretty user-friendly. The Dwarf 3 is ready in minutes and perfect for advanced stargazing on the go, making it a great traveling scope. In contrast, a $5,000 astrophotography rig like this one allows you to fully customize it. You can select each part including your telescope, your mount, a dedicated deep sky astrophotography camera, etc. With 2 times the aperture, 4 times the focal length and a cooled dedicated deep sky camera, this setup captures stunning, higher resolution images of the night sky, but it is also pricier, heavier and more challenging to master. So let me know, what would be your pick or perhaps you like them both? Share your thoughts and questions in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching, clear skies and see you in the next video.